Hi everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I'm continuing the build. I'm making the doors, pergola and deck for the garden makeover. Prior to this video, I made the structure for the shed. Have a look at the design. The pergola and deck will be a small seating area for grown-ups or a play area for kids. This corner is quite covered, uh, so nice and intimate. The doors consist of a frame the frame is laminated together with 3 quarter inch or 90 millimeter boards overlapping at the glue joint. Pin nails help to keep the position right and over both of the doors clamps are added. I let this dry a relative long for 48 hours. After the flame frames are glued, I could square it up with a large table saw. This is also possible with a circular saw, only you need to be precise with marking and cutting. In the process of cutting, I keep looking if the frames are matched nicely, visually, but also bowing and of bending of the wood. This is a solid wood product, so there will be movement. When the frames are nicely to size, I could mill the hinge pockets and lock. A part of the cladding is already added to the frame for the billing. First a chamfer for clearing around the hinge where it was milled. This door is thicker than usual so an extra clearance needs to be cut. The second step is creating the pocket for the hinges. First with the router and then with the chisel. When the hinges are nice and snug, the holes are drilled and I can focus on the pocket for the lock. Another part of the cladding is added and will be cut. First the deep pocket for the lock is made and then the side pocket for the cylinder of the lock. This is all cut with the side fence of the router. I really like that the cylinder is directly enclosed by wood and not by another metal shield or cover as a normal door. This is more time consuming but very pleasing to the eye. With the help of my buddy Axel, the doors are put in place. On top, the trim and base of, of the door, a jib or stopper or ridge is added to stop the door and stop moving air through. Later on, the cladding will be finished, letting this run through in the existing cladding of the shed. Yeah. 
onto the foundation of the deck and pergola. I placed two concrete piers on one side and on the other side there was an old very large concrete beam underground. On that side I placed two completely steel anchors of half an inch or 12 millimeter and onto there nuts and washers and a quarter bracket for mounting. <laughs> In the square beams, the pockets need to be drilled and the sport plate mounted. All the wood material is Douglas 4. The sluts and studs, the beams are held plumb and up. Now the bearers all for the deck could be attached. These will be carried by the beams, but also on concrete pavers on the ground. When the frame is nice and level, all the elements can be added. You can see me dig and make place for the pavers. Underneath the wood, a plastic fabric is installed. This keeps the plants from growing up underneath. The next day I could start placing the top of the pergola with Excel. This placing and installing is way more easy with two people. Afterwards the beam are trimmed to length. Ah. This ensures getting them at the adequate height. You can go first. Then the deck was, was on the list. With uprights, the frames stand off the ground and the sheet of plastic prevents moisture coming up from the concrete footings. We focused on cutting the pockets around the beams. The customer did the placement of the other boards. <laughs> Then the final trim was made and placed. Also the trim on the roof. This keeps the rain on the roof and outside of the cladding. This could also be done with lead slabs or zinc. This is another usual material here in the Netherlands. Very happy how it looks. This place is now a great, a great garden to enjoy time in. I hope this inspired you. Thanks for watching. Give it a like and consider subscribing.